G'day guys, it is Jack here, The Vegan Dad, for your weekly vegan taste test review. And today I am going to be tasting out this new one from the Alt Meat Co. Delivering these new alternative chicken tenders, which are now available in Woolworths supermarkets across Australia for $8 each. 300 grams of plant-based chicken. The Alt Meat Co. have been around for a few years now, an Australian company offering a mock meat options. Their options have predominantly been available in Coles supermarkets in the past. They've got burgers, they've got sausages. Both of those are incredible, but they have started to release some of their range into Woolworth supermarkets recently. So they've released the tenders and then they've also released a four pack of the burgers, which are $8 as well. I'm pretty certain the burgers are the same that you can get from Coles, but just in a four pack. Either way, it is amazing that Woolworths have more options available. These can be found in the frozen section with the other vegan items. But anyway, I have not tried these before and I really wanna see how they taste and if they are worth your money. So I'm just gonna whack these into the air fryer right now and let you guys know how they are. So let's go. Here we go, just cooked them up about 15 minutes in the air fryer. They look pretty crispy, they smell all right as well. Little bit of a decent size on these, check them out there. So as I said, available cold supermarkets for $8, 300 grams, you get 15 of these tenders in the packet. So they are packed full of protein as well, 15 grams per serve, there's three servings in here, so 100 grams is a serving size. So, let's go. So these are made from soy, wheat, pea protein, and a bunch of other flavorings in there as well. One thing that stands out compared to other nuggets on the market or other tenders on the market is you can see bits of like green flavoring throughout. I don't know if you can see that there. So it already has a bit of flavoring as soon as you bite into it. That crumb around it is nice and crispy. So you hear that crunch as you're biting into it. But I think in terms of flavor, it just lacks any sort of flavor. Despite all these different flavorings they've got in there, it is actually quite strong wheat taste to it. The crumb around it is actually quite thick as well. So like there isn't a lot of mock meat in there either. So that is a little bit disappointing, I find. Especially to others on the market, other brands, you know, you have a big chunk of the mock meat and then it's wrapped around a small, slight batter, which is crunchy as well. I'm actually a little bit disappointed with these because the Alt Meat Co. do have available um, like a chicken-like schnitzel burger, which is incredible. The best chicken mock meat that I have ever tasted. It is one of the best burgers going around that you can buy at Coles supermarkets, in my opinion. This is a very different tasting mock meat to that one that they use in that. And this one is just really wheaty, very bland in taste. You know, the one major selling point that I really like about this is that the, you know, the, the crumb around it is really crispy, massive crunch in it as soon as you bite into it, like, so bloody crunchy. But in terms of flavoring, it's just way too wheaty. And like to compare to other tenders on the market, like there's amazing tenders that you can buy from Coles, which are so delicious, so flavorsome, and so much like what you would remember chicken being like. You know, they are incredible. I'm not gonna shy away from it. It is the Herb and Sons brand. They are the best tenders in terms of flavors, in terms of taste in terms of that crunch as well. And then also you have a lot of plant-based nuggets on the market, which are sort of similar to tenders, but they are very delicious as well. A bit more flavor, a bit more like texture to it as well. Whereas these, you know, they kind of fall short in all of those areas. So overall, I'm actually really surprised that these aren't as good as their other products on the market. You know, I'm a big fan of their burgers and that chicken-like burger that I said earlier. 
but you know, I'm not huge on their sausages. And these are probably one of those other items that are a bit of a hit and miss and probably not as good as others on the market, especially for the price as well. 300 grams for $8 is quite pricey when you compare it to others on the market, which taste so much better and they are cheaper as well. So I feel like they may have just missed the mark a little bit on this one. But in terms of a crunchy batter, it is so spot on that batter around it. That crumb is perfect. It's just a shame that it is quite weighty in taste, the actual mock meat. Anyway, this is just my opinion, of course. If you have tried them out, please let me know your feedback on this new item that is available at Woolworths from the Alt Meat Co. Offering a bunch of mock meat options. As I said, they've also released the Alt Meat Co. burgers in a four pack for $8 at Woolworths. So definitely do look out for them as well in the freezer section. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, chuck a like, share it around, and comment below of what new item you want to see me taste test next. Anyway guys, as well, definitely do subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with more vegan taste test videos and much, much more. So until next time, I will catch you all very soon.